Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Fly here and welcome to this video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a solo commentary, continuing our series. Um, pretty much you guys picked the planes that I fly. Um, and the last video on in this series was the R2-Y2. It was a great game, killed me two F-80Cs pretty epically. Um, one of the comments was to fly out the MiG-9. That had 34 upvotes, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, let me just go make sure. They didn't say anything about the MiG-9 late, so it looks like I'm about to be flying the first one out. I'll just show you guys about this plane real quick. Um, now, as in all planes I usually play with, uh, but just for this series, they will be completely spaded out. That means everything's to the max so you guys can see how it performs. Um, when it's fully upgraded, minus my skill level. All right, so let's check it out. We have all this murdered out, fully upgraded. We're going to use for our uh, 37 mils uh, armor targets, and for these, I mean, not yeah, air targets. Excuse me, guys. Um, and for these, we'll just use stealth. Don't know why, really. I mean, air targets. This is it has two high explosives. This is armor piercing, so it's not a really that bad of. Hmm. Actually, might use both air targets because this one has. We want to set jets on fire because we're going to get a lot of snapshotting in and we want the highest possible chance to set a jet on fire. Okay. Uh, now we'll just go to my crew slots. Everything's upgraded. Okay. You know, this one really doesn't matter in realistic too much. I mean, it does if you're on the ground. Um, maybe your pilot's uh, G tolerance might matter a lot. Stanima, etc. But here is the plane. Um, we could put a custom. I don't know if I might. Yeah. I don't know. You guys decide. Should I add custom skins on to these planes when I do these solo commentary? Or just leave them plain? I mean, some people just like the historical ones. Or just the default ones. Some people like the, the, the custom skins, etc. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get in a battle. Alright guys, we just got a battle. We're on Operation Korea. No respawn, obviously, because it's a realistic battle. We have air targets for our 23, air targets for our 37 millimeters, 400 meters for convergence, 20 minutes of fuel. Let's do this. Just want to say before I start talking that uh, there will be annotation on the screen right now that will come or that will bring you right to the gameplay. Uh, but if you want to stay here and hear about my uh, trip to the fair and uh, all the things we did, uh, you guys can stay for that. Where are my airplanes at? Oh, Lanta. Oh, okay, they're just spawning in. Okay, yeah, we're on a U.S. server. Don't know why uh, people are taking a while to spawn. Maybe they're from Europe, because no one plays in the, here in the United States. Absolutely nobody. I'm just kidding. All right, anyways. So the State Fair has been here for probably about, you know... It, I, I think it's in North Carolina for two weeks, and it's crazy. Oh, there's so much food. There's, like, it's so American. It's ridiculous. You guys, are, it's just so crazy. There's giant turkey legs about as big as my forearm. Maybe, maybe two or three inches off that. There's fried uh, cookie dough. There's fried uh, cookie, but not cookie bars, candy bars. There's fried donuts. There's uh, oyster, not oysterage. <laughs> oysterage, oysterage, mate. Uh, there's ostrich, something, ostrich burgers, buffalo burgers, uh, deep fried Twinkie. It is ridiculous. Um, but I treated myself to a $10 turkey leg. That was incredible, marvelous, beautiful. I haven't had one for a whole year, so it was a glorious, glorious feast. There's nothing better than that. It's just, it's just wood, fire, and you just put a turkey leg on there, and it, it, it's it. That's it. I don't know why, like, because I don't really like Thanksgiving. I don't enjoy Thanksgiving turkey. Like, I'm not like, oh my god, I can't wait for this turkey. It's going to be dry, semi-cooked, you know. It's, it's, I don't like turkey, Thanksgiving turkey in the oven. But the roasted turkey legs, if you guys know what I'm saying, are the, oh my god, they're so good. Anyways, Laura doesn't really, my, my girlfriend Laura really doesn't eat any kind of like savory meals. She mostly eats like, you know, sugary, um... I mean, she'll, she'll have steak and dinner and stuff, etc. But, you know, for her treat, it's not like a savory thing. Like like meat or a cheeseburger. It's more of like a sweet thing. So Laura got a deep-fried candy bar. Oh my gosh, I almost threw up. I almost threw up. Like, it's just too much. It's literally too much. Am I even in the right zone for this battle right now? Okay, yeah, good. But anyways, it was a great time. And then we... we uh. 
took a little bit of time off from eating. We like went, went walking for a little bit around the, the fair just to see some of the cool stuff. I have a pretty cool video of a of a blacksmith um, banging some metal or molten, not molten. Well, I, I guess you can call it molten or very hot metal to make a sword, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we went on this pretty epic ride that that was really fun. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but it like twirls you up and down and all around and stuff. It's super fast. It was one of the biggest rides at the state fair. But yeah. All right, guys. We just entered combat. Our Yak-17 just got set on fire by an F-80C. We're diving on. We are diving on him right now. Getting a little excited right now. Um, one of the things about the, the MiG-9 does not have air brakes. You have to watch your speed to an extent. Make sure you don't get home, oh, my Lanta. Rest in peace, Fly Daily. I don't know if I even should even think about engaging right now. Yeah, we're out of here. We'll just pull out of the situation. Our big nine should be faster than them in a straight line. Yeah, they're not even close to catching us at all. We're gonna go ahead and pitch up for a nice climb. And we're gonna come back in. Pull that speed back up real quick. All right, I really wanted two right there, but I didn't want to. I didn't have time to check my six and make sure I was cleared. Um, we got one of them though, which is really good for our second engagement. We're coming back in for our third here. We need to make sure our speed's at least above 600 kilometers an hour. Oh shit! We got one of our Mig nines. Come on, baby. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa! No Tetsuzo. See that guy coming too late. Come on, Ming Nine. Come on, Ming Nine. Oh, that's epic. Bad shooting because it's too intense. Looks like he's going down, anyways. Nope, he's still up. I'm going to get my bearings real quick. Don't you love in War Thunder when you miss those easy shots? I'm about to get wrecked, I swear. Okay, let's just keep rolling, let's keep rolling. We got a lot of planes to kill. A lot of our team died too quickly. I'm 
Jesus. Fuck. Now what I'm what I'm what I'm gonna think what's gonna happen right now is that they're just gonna bomb out our base. There's some B, I think there's some B fifty seven still alive. Um, which I can't really do anything about that. I don't have much rounds left. I need, I need to help my buddy out right here. Don't come towards me. There you go. Nice. Oh, I thought he was going to fucking frag me. I swear I couldn't find him. All right, so we have this one guy left. We have Alex. We might be able to still win this. This is going to be a miracle. Come on, random. Do your part, man. Do your part, random. You got it, dude. Okay, okay. Go ahead and get him. We need to find Alex, though, which where, where I don't know where he's at. I want to make this guy as straight as possible for uh, Random to get. Up, oh, up. Oh, I think I just found Alex somewhere. There he is. Okay. This guy's so low and slow. Let's not let's not ram him, please God. Ooh. Like the thing is guys, I cannot hit easy shots to save my life, that suits so <laughs> Oh god. Please. Okay, we've got 39 rounds left. We got a lot of time. There's no rush. AIs are so OP. Face palm, so hard, right? Jeez Louise. Nice job, nice job, nice job, Brandon. Well done. Well done. Okay, guys, here we go. The enemy is we gotta ram him. See, already shooting from 1.3 kilometers out.
fucking god. Oh my gosh! It's all right. I want to climb into a hole right now. All right, A A has to get him. guy has no more rounds. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty damn sure that he better not ram because we're gonna lose now. Oh come on, Tetsu, so go on the fucking ground. Yes, come on. You can't pull up from that dive. Enemy are attacking our base. We will stop them. All right, good, good. So he, he just crashed. This guy got the kill. Oh, we've won. Come on. There we go. Good game. I can never kill AIs. They're just way too hard. <laughs> Great game. Random way to hang in there. <laughs> So we'll see how much we earned from that game. Got three player kills. There's my poor me. Blow my fires over here. So I think the benefit or my success to that game was that I was in there first. I escaped, um, kept my speed up, and uh, helped my uh, friendlies out a lot to where they, you know, one of them stayed alive. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, in the comment box below, please uh, pick the next plane. Peace out, fellas.